We're covering masculine problems that some women have today, and our next topic is one that some of you have written in about the Adam's apple, and we're going to talk a little bit about the Adam's apple, what it is, and why it's more prominent in some women. And I think you're going to get it in about five seconds here, okay? Well, the Adam's apple sits in the middle of the neck, as we all know, men and women both have it. How does it form? Well, embryologically, two shelves of cartilage grow forward to protect two very important things, your windpipe and your voice box, right? Yep. It is under the control of hormones and your chromosomes. So in men, as this thing forms, it forms more of an acute angle, meaning that you're... And I have a pretty good... Ad Adam's well, you've got a good contest. Adam's apple, as, as I do. Let me fill this. Yeah, you've got it going there. So more acute, it sticks out more. In women, it tends to be more obtuse. It doesn't stick out. So in a woman whose Adam's apple protrudes too much, in a case like this, there is a solution. So what we can do is actually shave some of that cartilage off that sits there. So it starts with a horizontal incision right through, right over that prominent spot of the Adam's apple. And what we do is we elevate flaps like so. I love this patient, doesn't oh, bleed. Oh yeah, this is great. So you've elevated the flaps. There are muscles in the neck that you have to spread apart, the so-called strap muscles. And with a scalpel, you just gently and appropriately, based on your discussions with the patient, you just shave that off ever so slightly like so. And voila, you've done, you've removed that Adam's apple. You close that incision back up. It's a fine line hidden in a natural crease. So that's basically a way to make it look more feminine if you do have that pronounced well, because, Adam's apple. Because a big Adam's apple in a woman is a manly trait. And for most women, that bulging bump, it isn't very prominent. But for some, like April, it is much more noticeable. So tell me exactly why you're here. Um, I'm here to get my um, Adam's apple decreased in size so I have a more appearance of a woman. I want you to see exactly what it is that I can remove and what I can't remove. This is the area that bothers me. Uh -huh. um, it pokes out. So I can remove this part and this part. You're going to have a one inch incision here. And it takes about 30 minutes to do this. And now we're going to just make that incision and then we separate the muscle down to where your cartilage is. Here's the bottom of the cartilage, right there. All I'm doing now is just outlining the piece of cartilage I'm about to remove, because that's coming off. I'm just taking off the cartilage in one piece, that's all. We've totally closed the two sides of the muscle, so there's no hole there anymore. Now we're gonna close the skin. Last piece of tape. So the surgery went great. Pretty easy, huh? Join us is Dr. Toby Mayer, co-director of the Beverly Hills Institute of Aesthetic and Reconstructive Surgery, along with his patient, April. Welcome to you both. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, April. And we were just talking about this, and, and, and it is a curiosity. Less common to have that prominent Adam's apple in women, but do you have a lot of women coming in because they're concerned about it? We've been doing this for about 35 years, and we do about 50 men a year, but uh, patients like April, we only do six to 12 a year and usually for the same problem. The Adam's apple sticks out like the prow of a ship. And, and women will say, why, why me? You exactly. Know, why, why is my Adam's apple so prominent? And you know? it's just genetics. Exactly. So That's great all. to be up here. I've known him 34 years. He was my professor at USC. Long How was still, he yeah. back in the day? <laughs> so, was he a troublemaker? Uh, no, no, he was excellent. Don't change, yeah. right? But he, and you saw Dr. Mayer's surgery, just like we did on, on the uh -huh. example, that horizontal incision. Sure. And you have to know, it's all about knowing the anatomy, correct? Right. Move those strap muscles. And according to what April wanted, removed the amount of, the right amount of cartilage. Right. April's a little different. Very often we'll see uh, actresses that'll come in and they will have just the prow of the ship sticking out, she had not only the prow of the ship, but the rest of her larynx being a little larger than normal. Now let's show everyone the, the result here because it really is, it looks And just a couple though. days, right? And she's swollen now, but that'll go down over the next few weeks. And, wow. 